If you're looking for a quick, easy, but yet delicious cornbread with a tender crumb and a crispy edge, you're in luck. You've found it. Hi, and you're watching Plating It With Wendy, where I share with you recipes which impress with these. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, share, and comment. And if you enjoy trying out recipes that turn out right every time, you're at the right place. So go ahead, press that subscribe button. And while you're at it, if you hit the bell icon, you'll be the first to get notified every time I upload a new video. Now, let's get started. For making our cornbread, we're going to go in with yellow cornmeal and we're going to add one and one fourth cup to a bowl. And to that, we're going to add three four teaspoon of salt. You can always add salt to taste. Now let's give that a quick whisk and leave it aside. In a large jug, we're going to add one cup of buttermilk and we're using the store-bought buttermilk here. And to that, we're going to add one third cup of white granulated sugar. Now you could always add more or less depending upon your taste. And for a buttery flavor to our cornbread, we're going to go in with half a cup of unsalted melted butter. And now into that, we're going to add two large eggs, which are at room temperature. Make sure that all the ingredients are at room temperature. Now let's give that a good whisk and break down the eggs. You want to make sure that the butter, when it's melted, it has cooled down before adding it in. Because you don't want the eggs to get scrambled inside. And now that all the wet ingredients have blended together and the sugar has dissolved, let's add it to the cornmeal. You can add that all at one go. Let's give that a mix and blend the two together. There's no need of using any hand mixer, just a spatula does the job. Now that it's all well mixed together, we're going to keep it aside to soak for about half an hour while we prep our baking tray and preheat our oven. To bake the cornbread, we're going to go in with an 8 by 8 inch cake pan and I've got about half a tablespoon of softened butter. We're just going to brush that down on the cake pan. Now this is going to help the cornbread to get a little color and also a lot of flavor. If you wanted, you could even go in with a cast iron skillet. And to our cornmeal batter, we're going to be adding one cup of all-purpose flour and to that we're going to add half a teaspoon of baking powder and half a teaspoon of baking soda. We're going to give that a quick whisk so that they blend well with the flour. This is going to help to make the cornbread rise a little bit. And we wanted to add it last after the cornmeal had soaked. We don't want to keep the baking powder and the baking soda in the batter while it's soaking. You can see the cornmeal has got a chance to soak and it has thickened up. So now we're going to add the flour to it. And now let's just mix it up. We're going to use the cut and fold method to blend it in. Just be very gentle and mix it till it just combined. You don't want to over mix it because then the cornbread will get a little bit tough. We want the cornbread to be soft with a nice crumb. And that's looking perfect. And now that the batter has soaked and well mixed, we're going to empty it into the prepared cake pan. Now we're going to go in with our spatula and even it out. We're now going to pop this into the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius and we're going to bake it for approximately 30 to 35 minutes or until a toothpick inserted into the center comes out clean. Our cornbread is ready. It took about 30 minutes to bake and when you insert a toothpick into the center, it comes out clean. And I love that golden crust that we've got around. Now we're going to allow it to cool for about five minutes before we take it out of the cake pan. Now we're first going to flip it onto a cutting board. Wow, look at that. And now since we want the face side up, we're going to keep the wire rack on the bottom and flip it over again. There you go. I'm so excited to taste it, but I'm going to allow it to cool for about five to ten minutes. Then we'll cut it and taste it. Now that the cornbread has cooled, we can cut it up and I'm just eyeballing it. I'm going to cut it into three lengthwise. I'm very fond of cornbread, so I'm going in for bigger bits. Wow, take a look at that crumb. It's turned out perfect. And now it's time to give our cornbread a taste. And I'm going to go in for an end piece because I like this crispy edge. Wow. Mmm. I really enjoy this cornbread. It's crispy on the outside and it's so soft on the inside. 
you've got to give this recipe a try. And you can try it anytime if you're having a barbecue for Thanksgiving or if you're someone like me, anytime you fancy it. And that's pretty often because I'm really fond of cornbread. And if you want to enjoy this as much as I do, hop onto my website, platingitwithwendy.com, where you will find the full written recipe. Thanks for watching. See you soon.